Thank you very much. Mrs. Harms, one minute. I'm now, I'd just like to say something about the electoral reform, first of all. I think that that reform and uh, the fact that uh, society is so polarized by it shouldn't be enacted just uh, one year before the next election. So that's the main criticism on the part of the Venice Convention against uh, everyone governing Moldova. Now, I don't think this electoral reform will mean that politicians become any more reliable and that there's less corruption amongst political elites. Uh, elites. As the Venice Convention has said, that would be far better if party financing could be made more transparent and if finally there were more independent free media. Nevertheless, despite this policy, I do think it's important for the EU to show itself to be reliable vis-a-vis -vis Moldova. We have a possibility through implementation of the association agreement to actually achieve something. Nevertheless, when it comes to the macroeconomic financial support, we should not be granting that without conditions. In fact, the people from Moldova want us to connect that to success in fighting corruption. Domnul Obermeier, un minut. 